In this video, we are going to look at AWS Depressor, which is a reinforcement learning service provided by AWS. Before we start, I assume we, uh, you guys already know what reinforcement learning is, how it works, what's a reward function, what is an action space, and all these things, at least the basics. So uh, you will understand what uh, we are talking about it about in the video. So if you, as you see, I've created three models before and I had submitted them in the July qualifier uh, virtual, circuit te virtual circuit track. And in this video, we are going to create another one. So uh, in AWS uh, Depressor, they, we have three choices of races, which are uh, time trial, time trial, object avoidance, and head to head racing. So in time trial, we need to complete the race uh, within, the, within the minimum time. In object avoidance, we need to uh, avoid the objects that are kept on the track. In head-to-head -head racing, we need to compete with another vehicle and we need to complete the race. In this video, we will look at time trial only. So let's let's start making uh, the, let's start creating the model. So if you see, we have a button here, let's click on the button. It will give you the overview how uh, reinforcement learning works. So I assume you already know this. Uh, give your model name I'll just give Pegasus maybe four now uh, Put your uh, job description Now the July qualifier is work is, is the track that they are and they are working on is the deep pro race So I'll be selecting this for training as well Scroll so there are many tracks that you can work with you can play around so for the for this purpose for this particular video i'm going to uh, use the deep pro race view only let's scroll down click on next now the three as i said there are three race types we'll go with time trial and there are three there there, there are two algorithms which aws gives us So these, so these two uh, training algorithms are proximal policy P optimization is PPO and the SAC, okay, soft actor critic. Uh, I will be providing the link in the description about these algorithms and I won't be explaining the entire thing, but the important part is uh, understanding what is the difference between the two. Okay, so PPO and SAC. So PPO, I've, I've uh, played around with PPO a lot rather than uh, the SAC one. So if you see at the so if you see the table, it says uh, it works in discrete and continuous action spaces. Okay, so I'll provide a link uh, to understand to tell you so that you can read about action spaces also. And we need to understand uh, which works better depending upon what you're trying to achieve. Okay, so these are the two two algorithms that we have. So for this particular video, we'll go with PPO since I've uh, played around with that algorithm a lot. We have a section here of hyperparameters. So we need to uh, understand what hyperparameters will work best for our case or which type, which race type you have chosen. Okay. I'll keep this uh, default for now. Click on next. So uh, PPO, as you as you saw earlier from the table, it uh, allows you to choose the action space space which is continuous and discrete. I will go with continuous. So in continuous action space, you don't have to uh, put the values directly. You just have to put the range. So the left would be thirty, and the right uh, steering algorithm thirty. And when your vehicle is actually on the track, it will depending upon what it explores and what it is training it will choose the uh, angle range and that's uh, that's and that way it will stir okay and for speed also uh, we need to uh, choose the speed range so when i when i work with ppo i put different speed uh, i think the highest that i the maximum speed that i put was 2.5 and my rank when i submitted the uh, in the july qualifier i think it was around 900 something uh, with 2.5 speed as maximum so here here's what you can play with since we are working on time trial we need to complete the track with the minimum time okay so right now i'll keep here one, one is too slow actually since i've already tried that also so i'll just make it two point let's make it two <clears throat> not even two point let's make it two and minimum speed is 0.5 that's fine okay so let's click on next 
so here you need to choose your vehicle so this so the original deep racer is what you get unicorn is the vehicle that i created uh, with a stereo camera so the original one has only camera so stereo camera is like that there are two cameras on the left and the right generally used for object avoidance so if there are objects on both the sides then either one of the cameras can check and uh, it can uh, detect it okay and avoid it <coughs> so in this video we'll go with the original deep racer uh, so here's where we need to choose the reward function now you have the power to change the reward function according to your need and they have given some examples so let's look at the example so the time trial so there are three reward functions that they have given us which is which is specifically for time trial so this is the follow the center line so this so your vehicle will be rewarded more points if it is at the center and less points if it is at the you know at the corner or at the left or the right side of the track okay and i have used all three of these uh, in different scenarios with different vehicles on different tracks with different speeds okay and with, obviously with different angle also so i'll just go with the basic here just for the sake of the video follow the center line stop condition so you need to tell uh, aws deep racer for how long you want to train your model so i have tried with 45 minutes with one hour with 1.5 hours with two hours as well so longer the time the better it trains and depends upon your uh, reward function also so some of the reward function will take more time to converge right so your training time should also be high okay for the sake of the video i'll just put it 10 minutes so that i can show you how it works and if you want to submit your uh, train model to the deep racer league you can uh, check and check this button okay i'll just uncheck it since i don't want to uh, spend uh, i don't want to send this to the deep racer league since it's only 10 minutes it won't learn much in 10 minutes okay and talking about the uh, yeah talking about the charges uh, for this so it is free uh, for the first 10 hours uh, since you start your training and evaluation but after that it is chargeable so make sure you know how long you're training your uh, models okay so let's let's create this model now So this will take some time. So once the training starts, I'll come back and show you how the training works. So the training has started. And if you see on the right, there's this vehicle which is trying to learn how to uh, be on the center of the line. So the reward function that we chose was be on the center or follow the center line, right? So initially it's going to start making a lot of mistakes and eventually it's going to start learning that being at the center is going to give him give the algorithm or the vehicle a lot of points right then it will try to stay at the center of the line only but for this you need to keep your training time high so right now we kept only 10 minutes right so so it, if you see at the top it says training will stop after 10 minutes so whatever happens here it's going to happen only for 10 minutes and on the left hand side you can see the graph right that's the reward graph so this is your reward graph the average percentage completion and the uh, percentage completion of the evaluating part right so it's evaluating now okay so this is going to go on for 10 minutes so th that that's how it's going to work so once the training is complete uh, let's let's see how the evaluation works okay so the training is now complete so if you see here we have got a reward graph with the reward value as 28.6 and now our model is ready to be evaluated so if you see we get start evaluation let's click on it let's go with the deep row uh, deep row raceway scroll down okay and then it says if you want to submit it i don't want to submit it let's start the evaluation So the evaluation has started and with 10 minutes of training, I don't think it's going to work that good, but let's see. 
so it it is good so it it will be doing three laps of the entire track and the total time is going to be considered as your final output so you see it's not working that good so once you give a lot of time into the training it's it will follow the center line and it will complete the track as soon as uh, it can so if you see the resets are change like 11 because it's going off track right it will be 12 now yeah so that that's your evaluation so once all the three are complete uh, you'll get the total time and on the right side you'll see the lab that they have that it has completed it in so if you see it has taken 1 minute 27 seconds to complete first lap and now it has started the second one okay so this is so this is going to uh, go on for three laps okay after that the evaluation would be complete if you scroll at the bottom this is the training configuration which you had uh, set while uh, while you were doing your training and if you want to see the reward function you can see it it was follow the center line right so this is where you can play around and see how much time it takes uh, and submit your model into the july, july qualifier or the uh, coming months as well so when i did it with uh, my algorithm pegasus one two i think the score the rank was out of let, let's check i have that written so yeah with pegasus uh, one it was 1632 where i had trained only for 30 minutes or something and it took around two minutes and 44 seconds but in the off track it went only seven times so maybe that's better but when i did with uh, so the second time when i did which was uh, v2 I, the rank was very good but the off track was 20 and so for the second time i used more speed and uh, the training time was i think 1.5 hours and after that the rank rose but the off track count also rose when i did for pegasus 3 uh, i changed a couple of things but it did not improve so my best model still remains the uh, pegasus 2 only but now what i'm planning is uh, changing the algorithm to sac uh, changing the speed now to more than 2 uh, 2.5 it was 2.5 when i did last time one one was with 2.2 the maximum speed maybe that's why it goes off track a lot right so this so this is this, this is the evaluating part so you, uh, once this is done you can actually submit uh, to the virtual race so if you want to create your own vehicle you can do that as well so I have two vehicles that are one is the unicorn and the one is the default one, the original deep racer. So just click on build new vehicle, give your name. And then you can change the color, click on next. So this is where you need to choose your camera. So the default one, the original deep racer has only one camera. I chose the stereo camera. So this will, so this, this particular stereo camera will help you if you're uh, racing in object avoidance or even in your head-to-head -head racing so you can understand where the vehicle is or the object is and the lidar sensor is when there's a another vehicle alongside and it will it can detect it to avoid collision right and if you click on done it will it's going to complete your vehicle okay so i already i have already created one so i won't be creating another one let's look at our models let's look at second one so yeah so my configuration for the rank that you see 965 or something it was the speed was from 1 to 2.5 the steering angle i think minus 30 and 30 are the maximum ranges that you can put not more than that right? and the other things were uh, default so for the next and the algorithm that i used was ppo so for this i okay i went till 900 I think if I change the algorithm, since this uses uh, discrete as well as continuous, I'll go with SAC now, which only uses continuous. I'll change the entropy and the gradient 
decent batch size i was thinking of changing that also and i'm going to change the training time i'm going to put more than two hours or three hours maybe that will help so let's see that's none so this is this is what uh, deep racer is and this is what i wanted to show you in this show you in this video you can play around with other things also uh, check out the virtual circuit i guess the virtual circuit is the races so if you see here 12 days remaining so if you see my rank has changed enough to 987 i think more people have already uh, went above me that's why right so this is where you could uh, check how your model is working with other participants right so that's it for this video and this is what i wanted to show you if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section if you like our content please like share and subscribe thank you